Today we are going to be talking about the rigid sets inside of bullet physics engine and uh, we'll discuss what are the benefits of rigid sets and how you can use it. So I'm going to start off by making a simple set of geometry and uh, let's quickly make something like this and uh, let's go to the front view. Let's control D, move this, shifting a couple of times and let's hit control D and let's move this again yeah so this is our basic uh, pillars of cubes which we are going to be converting in rigid bodies and let's quickly switch to the FX menu and uh, in the FX you should see bullet here if you're not seeing, seeing bullet here that um, then you should see a tab here and if you're not seeing bullet tab here as well what you can do is go to Windows setting preferences plugin manager and if you scroll down here you'll see that you can see a bullet make sure it's loaded and switch it to auto load that's it sometimes my has trouble loading the whole plugin thing and close it now you'll get this menu right here so we have already talked about the active rigid body the passive rigid body and so on Today we are discussing this which is the rigid set. So basically a uh, rigid set is a set of lot of polygons when you're working with a lot of rigid bodies what you need is a group of polygon a group of rigid sets. So that's why this was created to create those groups. If I apply a rigid active rigid body to these cubes for example I'm going to hit active rigid body and you can see the whole calculation going on you get a bullet solver and here you'll also get this um, bullet rigid body for each and every cube here now it's pretty hard to control these cube because if I want to change the mass of any cube I cannot just select the whole cube and change the mass of it because at the end of the day this will still hold the shape 1 if I select something like maybe this this still holds the shape 21 so it's really hard for uh, artists to manage this kind of thing so with the rigid bodies I'm gonna just hit undo to my active rigid bodies yeah there you go so with the active rigid bodies what you can do is you can create a group of a uh, lot of active rigid body where you have a lot of polygons in your scene and you just have one group of it to control the whole dynamic properties of that rigid body and the other benefits is you can use GPU acceleration with it and uh, you just don't have to waste time with each and every polygon so I'm gonna go here to the rigid set and let's open up the options so here it will uh, say I'm going to hit reset settings. So this is the overall default setting. You don't have to touch any of this. If you want, you can hide the input geometry totally up to you. You selected object. These are just basic setting. Uh, just keep them on. And here this is your name. Uh, if you want to give a certain name, like let's call this cubes and I'm going to hit apply and close. All right. So here you will notice that all my cubes are grayed out you can see here cube solved and this is my cubes so this is the overall rigid set and this is the overall the cubes that rigid set has created so if i hit play you'll see we have something like this all right if i go to the bullet solver and uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn on the ground plane okay nice and let's back it up just a little bit and uh, if you go to the cube initial state here you'll have a couple of options like default mass I can make this something about 10 and let's see what difference does it make All right, so here you can see we have still some bounciness going on I'm gonna make the default mass to 100 and uh, we see just a little bit of difference not a lot so I'm gonna change some values just it's easier to see and there you go so now you're seeing something like this a very drastic amount of difference so now the good thing about the rigid set is we don't have to play around with each and every cube we get this single uh, dynamic tab where we can basically control all our cubes and how they should react to everything so here you can change the restitution the linear damping angular damping and so on and if you want it to be initially sleeping you can turn that on never sleep you can use glue shape which we'll get into future videos uh, but for now uh, this is what 
is the benefit of rigid sets. You can create a group of polygon and apply the dynamic properties. You don't have to play around with each and every cube for that kind of thing. And uh, one more thing that you can do is you have solver acceleration where you can use GPU. Now GPU usually works with the, only the soft bodies of bullet. I'm not sure if they have changed it to work with everything. But yeah, it does work with the rigid sets. So there's that. And if you want more accurate result, what you can do is go up to 240 hertz. But again, this will differ to system to system. So now you can see a drastic difference with the overall. Since we have some collision with our cubes here, you'll notice that our cubes are intersecting here. That's why we are getting this bouncy looking animation. And uh, you can increase the number of iteration. Number of iteration are basically how much is going to calculate the whole thing to give you a perfect result. So if I change this to something like 120, you get a different result. If you make it 60, you're going to get a dis different result. So this was meant to help uh, the artist to play your simulation in real time as close as possible. So yeah, this is how you can use rigid sets to create uh, your simulation with when you have a large amount of polygon in your scene. So this will be helpful in the future videos. So make sure you play around with rigid sets and you understand the concept perfectly. And that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.